Group Links Everything Help Desk. Group Links Everything Help Desk version 10 features a remodeled user interface. This new interface provides a simple to use web interface for users, technicians, managers, and administrators. The modified look and feel simplifies the user experience through UI uniformity, as well as facilitates modification and configuration of the help desk with the intuitive UI. Let me begin by showing you a little bit about the new user interface. So I'll go ahead and log into the help desk. First of all, when you submit a new ticket, you click on the new ticket tab at the top. You'll begin by selecting the group. And then after you select the group, the ticket will load. As you'll notice here on this screen, the location was automatically pulled. This is because the location is now decoupled from the ticket hierarchical flow. To learn more about the decoupling of location, please reference our other video. After you've selected the group, the next step then is to select the category and the category option and then the assignment and then fill in the subject. As you can see, the ticket has the same functionality but is just laid out differently. So next I'm going to log into the system as a manager. Now I wanted to point out a few things that you'll notice in the help desk. First of all, in the header there are no longer icons at the top. They are all tabs. Also on the top, in the top right corner, you'll notice the quick ticket search, as well as the edit user, the help files, and the settings if applicable, as well as the sign out button. Another thing that's changed with the UI uniformity is some of the icons in the help desk. For example, you'll notice here on the My Tickets screen the Refresh button and the Edit or Customize Tabs button. Some other new icons are the View in the Reporting. Again, here is the Pencil, which is Edit. And then the red X is Delete. You'll also notice the Play icon. And then after you play it, there will be the Stop button. There are also other new buttons in the Help Desk that look similar to this one. In Ticket Templates, you'll also notice the new icon for Launch and a new icon for Copy. So there's just an overview of a few of the icons that have changed within the Help Desk. One of the pages that changed quite a bit in the Help Desk is the Ticket Search page. To learn more about the new features and functionality of this page, we've created another video for you about the Ticket Search and Ticket Filters. So next I'm going to log in as the admin. Another page that has changed quite a bit is the Assignments page. We have also created another video that you can reference about the new assignments and the new way to create multiple assignments. But as I go into the Assignment page, you'll notice that we also have created breadcrumbs at the top of the page here. The breadcrumb to the furthest right will be the page that you're on currently. The breadcrumb on the left will be the page that you came from. So if you just click on the Assignments page, it will take you back to the Assignments. I also wanted to show you the new Groups page. And if I go in to edit the group, this is where you can set the group name, make that group active or deactive, choose the asset tracker associated with the group, and set the group permission model. Permission models are new to version 10, and we have created another video about the permission models. So you can reference the ACL video to see more about the permissions. As I scroll down, you'll also notice that this is where you can set up the categories, category options, and group roles for your group. So you'll notice that this is the new icon for a new category, and that this is the new icon for category options. Again, you'll see the edit icon and the delete icon. The last thing I wanted to show you is the knowledge base. And you'll just notice that the functionality of the knowledge base is all the same. It just has a new look and feel with a few new buttons. So if I go into a new article, you'll notice the new buttons at the top. You'll also notice that the article name is listed first, followed by the short description and the resolution. Any attachments for these articles will be down here in the bottom right hand corner. And you can also still send the page or the article link to an email address of your choice. In the bottom left hand corner, you'll also notice the article details.
As you can see in the help desk, most of the functionality is the same, but the look and feel has been updated and made more consistent throughout. Thank you for viewing this video, and if you have any more questions or would like more information, please feel free to call us at 801-335-0700 or email us at info at grouplink.net. Thank you.